Welcome to the third video of module 6. Today we are discussing about software process improvement and uh, we have to discuss about SPI which is the short form. It's approaches, elements, SPI frameworks and support constituencies mainly. So in the previous video we just discussed the ISO um, certifications right and then about the SQA plan okay uh, SQA plan is nothing but a roadmap for SQA which is software quality assurance okay and um, the standard by IEEE for SQA plan recommends a structure like this it should identify the purpose and scope of the plan the description of the software engineering work products that fall within the limits of the SQA that is whatever quality is concerned so the description of the work products then uh, SQA actions and tasks the tools and methods for SQA then SCM procedures relating or pertaining to SQA and so on so the next topic is a very important essay question okay and it is software process improvement SPI so this is a improvement an improvement strategy for process okay so SPI strategy transforms the existing approach to software development into something that is more fo focused repeatable and more reliable okay so that is an overall improvement now we have A and B parts mainly in, in which is coming immediately after that first is the approaches to SPI it's a key to your question so one of the approaches is the SPI framework okay and what is the framework it defines a set of characteristics that should be present if an effective software process improvement is to be achieved then as a part of it there must be a method for assessing uh, whether those characteristics are present whether improvement characteristics are present a mechanism for summarizing the results of any assessment if it takes place then the strategy for assisting the organization to implement those uh, characteristics okay uh, then SPI framework assesses the maturity in other words it assesses the maturity of an organization's software processes and it is a quality or qualitative indicator of the maturity level of a company or organization and there is no universal SPI framework okay so next is elements of SPI framework so as you can see in the figure it's a K2 question remember and um, mainly you have a software process okay and it is examined by some assessment hmm? and assessment leads to improvement strategy and cap cap uh, capability determination okay so you can find that um, this capability determination uh, is a foundation for uh, improvement strategy okay that is what this arrow shows then uh, you find that capability determination identifies the capabilities strengths and weaknesses of um, and also the maturity of software processes and then the improvement strategy is another assessment tool it is to identify the changes to software process and also suggest improvement approach for software process so you just need to elaborate this figure to write an explanation okay then SPI frameworks more um, uh, in detail they are the great KT question is um, SPI frameworks and example it is spice okay we have discussed about it in module 1 even it is an international initiative to support ISO's process assessment and life cycle processes. Okay, so uh, it is an uh, a supporting standard. Okay, for process improvement for the case of ISO SPICE. Okay, next SPICE of the model ISO IEC 15504 standard, and this defines a set of requirements of process assessment okay this um, tells you the requirements and the intent of this standard is to assist organizations in developing an objective valuation of the efficiency or efficacy of any software defined process so th this would all just mean 
to um, evaluate or assist organizations to evaluate an, eva an evaluation strategy to uh, see if they are uh, the company's software processes are working with efficiency okay that is the key idea to be understood in this SPI frameworks okay the next um, framework is bootstrap it is an SPI framework for medium and uh, small sized organizations okay that confirms to spice then PSP and TSP it is um, um, personal okay or individual and team specific SPI frameworks we have discussed all this in module 1 okay and uh, the details if they ask you in detail you have to write it from module 1 the explanation given there then uh, TICK IT it is an auditing method that assesses an organization's compliance to I ISO 9001-2000 standard okay next we go to the go to the uh, six different SPI support constituencies or oh, the other question could be written as uh, list out the framework grouping champion in um, an SPI effort that is what are the framework groups which help to um, supplement or um, um, an SPI effort to um, be championed okay so um, in simple words uh, there are some six points okay six points that is first is quality certifiers formalists tool advocates practitioners reformers and ideologists okay these are the constituencies which support um, SPI or help the SPI effort okay so uh, process improvement efforts championed by this group that is quality certifiers okay focus on uh, the following relationship that is quality of process would ultimately imply the quality of the product okay so their focus is on this concept okay and um, their approach is to emphasize assessment methods and to examine a well-defined set of characteristics that allow them to determine whether the process exhibits quality so it is to check whether whatever process it exhibits quality that is the work of quality uh, certifiers next we go to formalists so this group wants to understand the process workflow okay um, that is using process modeling languages PMLs then tool advocates so this group will insist on the tool assisted approach to SPI um, that is to analyze whether the process is uh, improving then practitioners um, they use a pragmatic approach that is emphasizing the mainstream project quality and product management okay then reformers their goal is organizational change that would lead to the better software process ideologists they focus on suitability of a particular process model for a particular uh, application domain so they will think about new new ideas that would help in the improvement okay now next is uh, the B part sorry so next is the B part to explain the levels of um, maturity model it's also called the CMM uh, levels CMM okay capability maturity model levels so let's see uh, maturity model is applied within the context of SPI framework and the intent of this is to provide an overall indication of the process's maturity that is uh, we can know whether uh, a company um, is at what level of maturity whether is it is it an initial um, maturity level company or a, uh, a company at the higher level okay it gives an indication of the quality of the software processes okay it is the general state of the software engineering practice next the five levels of the CMM first one uh, is the initial level that is it is a company where only few processes are defined and success uh, success broadly or mainly depends on the individual effort okay there will be only few in the company in this stage then level 2 is a repeatable the basic process management uh, processes are established here 
okay basic uh, processes are there and um, the ones that are used to track cost schedule etc okay so it's a, a better level compared to level one which is ancient next is a repeatable level and that should be repeated to go to the next level next is defined level the processes for both management and engineering are documented standardized and integrated into a standard software process for the organization means it's a better defined level it um, uh, in fact it's complying with some of the international standards also okay next is the uh, level four managed level you have a detailed process and product metrics there meaningful variance in the performance okay and um, trends can be predicted so it is in a very good level a manageable level managed level then is level five optimized uh, the quantitative feedback to identify process weaknesses so there is a proper feedback mechanism running in the organization a proactive approach is out there to strengthen it the whole system okay so that's mainly the cmm levels now how do you recognize an organization that will resist spi efforts or the four levels of immaturity okay that is um, talking about uh, not a mature one but an immature organization uh, scott suggests the four levels of immaturity level zero is uh, negligent um, that is failure to allow processes and such a sort of company that doesn't allow new new processes then level one is obstructive which is counterproductive processes are the ones that are being implemented okay with are obstructive to improvement then level two is uh, contemptuous which disregards um, the uh, steps for good software engineering they do not give any importance to the software engineering levels or um, tasks that should be there for a good firm to be born then level three undermining it's a total neglect of its own charter so these are the four levels of immaturity then is spi for everyone can a small company initiate SPI activities and do it successfully? The answer is yes. Okay, that is SPI can be for a small company also. It should come out as no surprise to uh, that small companies are also um, more informal and can apply. Of in their level, they can apply a few standards and still have um, SPI implemented. So, I'm concluding the video here. Uh, SPI process in the next video. Thank you.